Our top story at six, a fire that consumed an abandoned home in Port Arthur tonight at the center of an investigation determining how it got started. KFTM's Tan Radford reports on the growing danger to the community of homes marked for demolition. It's devastating. I can't believe it. A home set to be demolished at West Gulfway in Joe Lewis Drive went up in flames Sunday night. Uh, I've been in for some years, maybe about, about seven years. Randall Davis says his sister lived in the home for a decade before it was abandoned by the last tenant. The city red tagged the building, which starts the process toward possible demolition. But that won't happen. The home is now in ashes. This is not only an eyesore, it's a hazard to the community. It's a safety hazard to the other homes in the area. If someone should decide to come back and do this all over again, then we're going to have another problem. Community advocate John Beard says the red tag homes have become targets for arsonists and a danger to the city. It's incumbent upon the city council and the city of Port Arthur to get rid of these dilapidated buildings and structures and also to see to it that the people who may be, you know, committing arson and doing these things are arrested and uh, prevented from doing further harm to the community. Port Arthur Mayor Thurman Barty says there are several hundred red tag homes and other structures in the area. He is working to get a specific number and deal with the dilapidated and dangerous buildings. The ones where they need to be tearing down, they don't tear down, but this house could have been saved though. Saved perhaps, but now nothing left to salvage. The smoke and fire, a reminder of the danger to the public. In Port Arthur, Tan Radford, KFDM 6 News. Owners of red tag buildings can avoid demolition if they show progress on repairs and are working toward bringing it up to city code.